Slack Attack. Well, yeah, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me again. Welcome back to the Major Slack Attack. Your first stop for data landing tactical terminal gameplay. And we're going to continue my no purchase. Don't stop and talk to me. I'm doing a walkthrough here. What does a girl have to do to get some privacy around here? Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, before we head into the midden, actually, let's just fast travel back over. Yeah, a couple of things I want to do here. Number one, I want to get a couple of key things um, out of my stash at the headquarters at the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Okay, you wait here for us. I'm just going to go inside and pick up a few things. Powder her nose and stuff like that. Yeah, I want to get a bear pelt. Um, I believe we already have a ruined book on board. We do? Where can we get this so-called ruined book? Slack, you can get one in White River Watch. They're all over the place in White River Watch. We already did that. We already cleared that area. Okay, here we go. Bear pelt. One, please. We have a ruined book. Um, go over to our ingredients end table and get some dragon's tongue out. One, please. There we go. So that's all we need. Bear pelt, ruined book, um, dragon's tongue. And we're going to find some fire salts in the midden, which is where we're going. Those four ingredients will create the Spell Tome of Flame Atronach, which is going to be a complement to our Staff of Storm Atronach. This will give us an alternative to create a helper, an Atronach, that will actually level up Conjuration, because Staffs, Staves, okay, do not level up Conjuration. Number two, I want to, um, I thought I did this a long time ago, I want to um, activate the mage stone so that magic skills like conjuration and alteration and whatnot are leveling 10% strike that 20% faster there we go mage stone activated and finally um, looks like I missed my mark when I tried to uh, get solitude as a discovered location I did everything but even have it had it written down in my walkthrough notes Go to the front gates, otherwise you won't actually discover solitude, even though we're right inside. And milling around, doing all kinds of business around there, but we didn't actually um, discover it. Okay, so let's do that right now. This will only take about a minute and a half to ride on up there again. Tell you what, I'll just apply the spell of Fast Horse. Right here. Here we go. I'm not interested, Jari. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. There you go. Finally discovered solitude. Fine. Now back to Winterhold. All right. Now we have been denied. Denied access to the College of Winterhold because we didn't have the right spell. And this is a no purchase challenge run. So we're going to have to use the sneaky back door way of getting into Winterhold. This is how you do it. First of all, you're going to kind of head southeast from Winterhold and find the cut that goes down the mountain. Now there's some wolves here, typically. Here's the cut that goes down the mountain. There's the wolves. Just ignore them. Just go right down the mountain. Once you get down to the bottom, follow the coast to the left. Turn left here. Just follow the coast. Ignore any other predators along the way. should lose lose interest uh, fairly shortly okay keep following the coastline what we're looking for is a cut going up on the right 
I'll show you in the map exactly where it is. It's right there. Can you see that? Can you make that out? That's exactly where we're going. Okay, you can see that cut going up. So let's just stick to this uh, riverside here. And you can see it's just up ahead. Right there. See that? That's where we're going. Right up the cut. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to access the so-called the midden. Okay, here we go. This is what you're looking for. See that plateau right there? All right? See like this big rocky outcrop there? That's like the College of Windhold right above. Okay? And the midden is this cave system below the College of Winterhold. Now, if we can get up on that rocky plateau, we can actually sneak into the midden. That's the back door. This is kind of tricky, though. You definitely need a horse to do this. Okay? This is the way you do it. You start out on this side. I finally found a reliable way to do this. Start on this side, and we can see... You basically, you got to get over that, that rock there. That rock there is buggering up the whole works. See that big rock there? If we could just get on that plateau there, we'll be home free. Okay, but that rock there is buggering up the whole works. But you can get over it if you got a horse. So take your horse up here. And kind of point him in like this, okay? Once he's pointed in, press forward and spam the jump button. Okay, that's how I do it. Okay, forward, spam the jump button. And go left a little bit if you have to. Or go right a little bit if you have to. And there you go. That's how you get over that rock. Once you're over the rock you find this little cave right here. This goes into the midden, but you have to negotiate another obstacle here as well. You have to get up there. This is a lot easier. Just stick to the right side, push forward, and spam the jump button again. Spam the jump button, and your horse should finally climb up. <laughs> if he doesn't like, you know, do something crazy like this. Okay. Let's try this again. Spam the jump button. Come on. Come on, trigger. Come on, up you go. Up you go. Okay, we're up. There we go. So now we're at right at the door to the midden, okay? Now you're going to have to, like, move your horse over, over a little bit so you can get off. There we go. Got room to get off. And it's a tight it's a tight fit. You have to, like, fiddle around here to finally get her to access the midden. Fiddle around, fiddle around. There we go. And we're in. That's it. That's how you sneak into the midden. Alright, shields up Scotty. Let's see what's going on in the conjuration department. We have the soul stealer prick, that's good. Let's whip up the bound bow. Up ahead are a few frostbite spiders, let's see if we can capture their souls. Right up ahead, right there, if you can see them in the distance here. Aim just slightly above, because there's a bit of an arc. Got one. And got two. There we go. Skeever tail. Mm, skeever tail. Great. Juniper berries. Okay, now we gotta work our way. The, the main reason we're in here, eh? is to get to the Atronach Forge, where we can forge um, the Staff of Storm Atronach. Everything goes so smoothly in practice runs. As soon as I have to start describing what I'm doing, it all goes to hell. Um, yeah, like now I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> okay, this way. Right here, this is where I want to be. I need some kind of weaponry to get through this webbing here.
good enough showing the map where that is. Not the Skyrim maps are worth a damn. And I believe we're clear until we get up to the next section here. This is all part of another quest which we can't do too much later on in the game. Um, there are some skeletons on the other side of that door. Tell you what, let's... Let's get Blue Dog happening. Just to level up Conjuration a little bit. And as soon as they come through the door, let them have it. Quit backdooring me, Blue Dog. I know you're like an eager beaver. And it's the dog in you. Now, if they don't want to come through the door, you can always shoot an arrow at the door to get them kind of like interested. They should bring them in. Come on in. Come on in, Bones. You know you want to. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I did that to shoot another arrow there. Just to get him interested in the app and open the door right at the same time. Okay, good enough. Take your gold me bone meal and your gold necklace. Where's your brother? What do you got? And that's that. Good job, Blue Dog. Good job. Case of beer and all that. And that's it. This should bring us up to the door that'll bring us into the Midden itself. This area now is called the Midden Dark. Okay, and you're going across this bridge here. And here we go. Alright, now, once again, we got a Draugr on the other side. Let's get Blue Dog happening. Hook up the Bound Bow. There we go, leveling up Conjuration here, boss. Get ready, Blue Dog. It's going to come through the door. You ready? Hang tough, Bravo 6. Here he comes. Atta boy. <laughs> Make a lot of noise. Shooting my guy. Okay. He's milling around the areas. Get him, Blue Dog. I don't think so. Nobody whacks my Blue Dog and gets away with it. Nobody. And what do you got? Some ancient Nord arrows, and that's about it. That's it. We've broken into the midden. And just around the corner here. this door here. Hang it right here. And here is the Atronach Forge. Ooh, the Atronach Forge. Yeah, the magical forge. Put stuff in here according to the right recipe. Pull this bar and your thing gets magically produced in the center here. All you have to do is know the recipe. Now some of the things you need for these Atronach Forge recipes are right here. Especially the fire salts, which is what we need. And you can read this book to give you an idea. It doesn't really tell you much about the recipes. You definitely need a broom. And perhaps some of these guys here don't really need those. Okay, let's make ourselves a staff of Storm Atronach. Staff of Storm Atronach recipe. Broom. Or calcum ingot, or or calcum, or calcum ore. I would use the ore because it's like you know least valuable. Um, a greater soul gem, or better. So a greater soul gem, a grand soul gem, or a black soul gem. Doesn't matter if they're empty or filled. Okay, one of those three. Obviously, you're going to use an empty one because you know, like I said, least valuable. And finally some void salts. 
That's why I had you rip out those void salts from poor Arcadia. There you go. That's the recipe for a staff of Storm Astronaut. Say abracadabra, pull on the pull bar, and boom. You got yourself a staff of Storm Astronaut. Very powerful weapon. Best thing about this is like the distance you can deploy it. You can deploy it a lot further than normal spells of Atronox. That's that's nothing. You can deploy it like way way. Okay, and I got the um. Okay, we gotta work quickly now because the uh, the ice wreath is all excited now. I just did that for demonstrational purposes, but I probably shouldn't have done that. Let's make ourselves a spell tome of flame Atronox. This will create a, well I'll do like cast a flame atronach without using a stave. This will actually help level up conjuration because staves like I said don't level up conjuration. Okay so the recipe for this is one bear pelt, one ruined book, one dragon's tongue, and one fire salt. And I showed you where to get all those ingredients. The fire salts are right here. There you go. Say abracadabra, yank on the pull bar, and you get yourself one spell tome of flame atronaut. Gobble that book down, and you can cast a flame atronaut anytime you like. And this will also help level up conjuration. The only thing about it is, oh shit, there's that ice wreath. Um, okay, you gotta work quickly here. <laughs> the only thing about it is you can't cast it very far. Okay, this Flame Atronach is gonna do a lot better against the Ice Wreath. Um, I'm gonna quickly cast it and get out of the way. Okay, go get him, Flame Girl. Atta girl, keep your left up. Hang tough. I'm counting on you. There we go. By the way, if that ice wreath hits you, instant death. Way to go, flame girl. <laughs> Alright, so now we're, we're we're loaded for bear. We're ready. We're ready, Freddy. Okay, let's just take a quick look around here again. Um, I'm gonna bring this on along as a souvenir. Should be some more torch bug thoraxes right here. Salt pile. And in this bucket are it's a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> I love doing that. And that's that. Okay, now this is the way you normally come in. If you're coming from the College of Winter Old, you come down these stairs. The ice wreath is there. You go down here, you go around the corner, and down the other stairs to find the astronaut porch. But we're doing, doing everything back asswards here. Alright? Two ways to get into the College of Winter Old. You can go this way and get into the Hall of Countenance, which is where we're going. Or you can go this way and come up into like the center courtyard. It's like a staircase. Strike that. A ladder right there, alright? Let's go into the Hall of Countenance because we are here to rip them off. There's a ton of soul gems here and we desperately need those. That's the one thing that is not... you can't really find around a lot in the gamescape. So here we are, they call it College of Winterhold, Hall of Countenance, our old stomping grounds. This is our old room. Let's start with the freebies and then start ripping people off. So free soul gems here, a whole bunch of free ingredients here. Often some ingredients in um, these barrels here. If the game's getting a little pokey. Let me just do a quick save here. Okay, it's good. 
more freebies upstairs in the alchemy lab tons of free ingredients yum 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 yum, yum. some potions there in the enchanter room free soul gems under the glass cases okay well that's everything free now let's go thieving let's do this systematically we're gonna work counterclockwise around the room now what time is it this is not a good time everybody's just about to get out of bed um, first of all, we're not allowed to be here, so if anybody gets really upset, they're going to ask us to leave, and then they may even turn hostile. So, let's wait until after midnight. That's midnight. One, let's say two. You alright? Oh, oh, oh. Bedtime. Who's that? Go to bed. Already. You need to leave. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. Time for you to go. Okay. Basically just leave. <laughs> if that happens to you. Yeah, see we're not really officially invited into the College of Winterhold. They may get upset and tell you to do that. So typically I just leave and then go back in. Once everybody's gone to bed, then it's okay. You can just sneak around. And let's get our sneaky peep paraphernalia on. Namely, the shrouded hood there. That'll make us sneak better. Okay, so let's start with the bottom floor instead. We'll go clockwise around. That's our room. This is just a storeroom. This is Finnis's room. There's a soul gem right there. Getting our sneak on here, boss. Grab the soul gem. That's pretty much all we want. Ooh. Sweet roll. Let me guess. Somebody stole your sweet roll. <laughs> it is true. Somebody did steal your sweet roll. Oh, lots of potions up here. Might as well grab them all. We're going to get a bounty for doing this. That's money, okay. Might as well steal his apple pie, too. Next. Stairs going up. This is Drevis' room. Whole bunch of soul gems in here. Should be five up there. Plus the staff of Mage Light. Okay. Excellent. Just looking for ingredients in these barrels here. Whose room is this? Um, I forget. Once again. If we're gonna get a bounty for this, might as well grab everything. There's some canis root. This is next to the front door. It's Ferelda's room. Okay, that was Ferelda's room. Surprise, she's not here. Okay, that's the bottom floor. Actually, we should stay, stay sneaky here. Okay, once again, let's work clockwise. That's the storeroom. Might be something in this chest here. Fair pelt to replace the one we used.
next. This is uh, Sergius's room. Leave? Leave? I don't have to stink and leave. Haha. -ha. That's the enchanter room. That's the storeroom. Alchemy lab. This is Colette's room. I don't think she has anything. Oh, she has this staff of lightning bolts. Normally. There it is, staff of lightning bolts. Um, Every time I steal this, I get busted and I die a horrible death. I don't even know if I want it. There, we made the tour. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh oh. Run, Slack. For two bounty, eh? What did I get? Like a two bounty? She'll kill you. Typically, you don't get, you know, a contract taken out on your life for, like, a two bounty. A bounty of two gold, but, uh, apparently. Okay, so I did a quick save just before that. If this turns horribly wrong, I'll just reload the save and go from there. Okay, into the Hall of Attainment. Same deal here. This is our room, okay? Everything here is free. This is the room is actually officially assigned to us when, we're, when you, like, officially join the College of Winterhold. You get a free soul gem there. Let's loot all these barrels. Looking for ingredients. Sometimes there's some ingredients there. Okay, getting an FPS drop here, I think. For some reason. Okay, I see some soul gems up here. Nobody's here. Should be more more soul gems here. This is Berlina's room. That's all I want to risk here. What do you got in the barrel? Green apples, forget it. How about the chest? Okay, this gold, forget it. Next. Onman's room. Looking for soul gems primarily, I don't see any. Onward. That's upstairs. This is another guest room. <laughs> Bales of A in it. Looking for ingredients. There we go. Grab that horse hide there. And third. Don't recall there being any soul gems in here. Lunch room. Nuria's room. Yes, pickings are pretty slim upstairs here in the Hall of Attainment. Here's another guest room. There's a soul gem over there. Whose room is this? Arno gains. Couple soul gems. I believe that's it for the soul gem department. back where we started. Let's get out of here. Let's get the F out of Dodge. We've been a bad boy. Really bad boy. Thieving it up here, boss. <laughs> okay, so the operation was a success. 
Um, how full is our inventory? Probably pretty full. Let's do a dump and run. Yeah, we're pretty full. Let's do a dump and run over at our headquarters at the Dark Brotherhood. Very good. Hi uh, guys, by the way, the College of Winterhold, um, there may be some issues with them henceforth. <laughs> I was just there. Okay, so that is it. I'm going to do like my organization and dumping and running off camera. I'm going to call it a video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, hey, you know what to do. Give the old slackster a big old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe so you get all my videos hot off the press. Alright, see you next video.